Sports Trifecta. Mm -hmm. Once again, coming to you from DC Prime in Ashburn, Virginia. I got the mouth from the South, Smooch Adamas, mm -hmm. Fred Smoot. Rock Cartwright makes his second appearance because he likes the wine here at DC Prime. My name is Chick Hernandez. Mm -hmm. And we're all three able to go each and every show. Ryan Fitzpatrick, not so much. Okay, that's the that's game number one against the LA Chargers. Yep. And I have said it time and time again in the DC area. There's something in the soil, in the water. You say it's voodoo. You say the you somebody, say voodoo. Some, somebody you say voodoo. A chicken foot on the 50 yard line. That's what you say. He's out six to eight weeks with a hip injury. I think it's going to be longer than that. But I hate to say I told you so. All right? You, I you, know. I you, don't, you don't hate it. I, 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 I told you, I, I feel a Kurt Warner story coming in, and I remember who that Bolger getting hurt. Kurt coming in, yeah. never giving the job back. Well, you, call him, you call him Kirk, and you call Kirk Cousin Kirk. Yeah, I, I, you know, I all butcher right. all of it. All right? At the hey, end of the day, the hey, at the end of the day, Heineke is going to come in. This is what I seen on the sideline. I seen Ryan Fitzpatrick get hurt, laying on the ground. I seen Heineken say, you know what, hurt my beer, man. Went right in the game <laughs> and threw a touchdown. All right? True. So what I'm saying is, with a week of practice, knowing he the man, right. I think he has a chance to not yeah. save the se season, but be a benefit. But he's not coming in with a week of practice. We playing on Thursday this week. Good point. Well, right. But he's he getting Giants. first team reps. He's getting first team reps. True. That makes it, a big difference. On, that's the key. That makes on, a big difference. On Monday? No, not Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, end of the game. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. They, they, they weren't going right to have a day off this week. This is all right. walkthrough. They were going to turn. Yeah, it was so going to be a half Tuesday, a day Wednesday. of walkthroughs. Okay. And they was going to put in. Because the one thing I can say about this game with Scott Turner, that offense was the imagination was none. Right. All right. I, I need to see him do more things. I need to see him push the ball more. But I'm also, I understand when you, when you get your second screen quarterback in the game, True. you kind of thumb down the right. playbook. All right. So I feel horrible for Ryan Fitzpatrick because we all waiting on Fitzmagic to happen. Fitzmagic, yeah. And then boom, he's got a hip like an old man. He's an old man. Yep. He's out. Antonio Gibson. Fumble. Fumble. Crucial fumble. Change the point in the game. Change the point in the game. Yeah, no question. No question. When you carry the football, you're not only carrying the, carrying the team right. in your hands, you carry the fan base. And the you future. You the organization. Yeah. The future. That's like a baby. You got to be super, super protective with it. You got to take care of it. But I credit, I think Antonio needs to start wearing that sleeve. On the left arm, it look good. Yeah, that's what you say. But you got to be able to feel but the football. But once it gets right. sweaty, right. man, it, 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 it gets sweaty. slippery. It ain't no yeah. good, man. Yeah. Did you, 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 were you sleeveless? Off. I wore sleeves when it was cold outside, if it was raining, anything, I wore sleeves. I did, you, sleeves. did you have fumbling issues? I did. How did so, first off, when you have those, yes. you go home, are you sleeping with the that's, football? That's, what are you doing? No, you don't sleep with football, but that's the worst feeling anybody can have. But you oh. have nightmares in You have nightmares. You have nightmares. So guess what? You replay that play over and over and over. Oh, what if I would have did this? What right. if I just went to the ground? Yeah. You know, little stuff like that. Okay. That, a lot of people don't know. You deal like you you, you struggle with that. Right. On the and how, gonna, did, how did you fix it? For a long time. How did you fix high it? High and tight. You got high and tight. You gotta practice. Yeah. You got you play the game in practice, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when people getting around you, wrap the ball up. Be a little bit more secure with the football. It's all about ball security. If you I, take care of the ball, you can play football. Like right. Coach Gill say, treat it like a newborn. Yeah. Right? You're gonna hold your baby high and tight. Huh? This is what you're going to do. You're going to hold a child. No, I'm, I'm down here. You got to have me. it like yeah, across the tip. Like no right wonder something wrong with him. I, I had bad shoulders. I had bad shoulders. <laughs> I, if I carry my kid up here, you know, if I carry my kid up here, I'm getting spittle on my shoulder. Which you're going to have to deal with that. No, this part that. of the maturation. I'm not doing <laughs> this, this part of it. At the end of the day, turnovers, you show me a team that turned the ball over, I show you a loser. That's just the way it goes. I agree. Especially when you're not taking the ball yeah. back. And then... A timely turnover. When I say timely, yes, right. it was the turning point. You could tell all the energy left the stadium. Yeah. I was there. I, and yeah. the team, you could see it was in their head also. Were you there when the uh, when the pipe the, bust? The septic valve was pouring down on the folks? I was literally, I was walking into the hallway. I saw Rock running out the bathroom. I saw the pipe. <laughs> I literally saw the pipes bust. I, I didn't know what was going on. I, you know what? I didn't know what was going on hey, at the time. Hey, where you get this guy from? Man? Where do you come up with these things, man? You are wrong for them. Hey, listen. Rock I, will never come back. I, I'm just reporting never. the news what I saw in the court of law right now. All right? And he had pinch on his shoe, so I knew he was in the bathroom. All right? It just part of the That's truth. terrible. And for those fans, horrible. No. Horrible. Actually, 
it actually turned up for them because they moved all those fans in that section right. to the owner suite. No, they did not. They got in the suite. Really? Yes, they did. Good go right there, Tanya Snyder. That's Great nice. Go. Well mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. That's well done. Yep. Cheers to you. Yep. Uh, yeah. I right. drink to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll drink to a lot of things. Yep. Mm-hmm. That, yep. That's mm-hmm. a whole different story. Mm-hmm. Um, hey. Pardon us while we parch, you know, we parch ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so the offense under Taylor Heineke, and get his name right, folks, Taylor Heineke, as opposed to what ESPN said was Tyler Heineke. Hi, ask me a beer, Mike. That's a different, different human. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to stand the offense because the next block will talk defense. Yeah. Uh, Terry McLaurin. Holy crap. Yeah. Jerry Terry, as Fred would call it. Holy crap. They got to give him the ball in the first yeah. half. I'm right. sorry. How that's, about that? That's Find how you back out to get him involved in the offense right. early. Right. Yes. That's, you that's, got and to. that's Scott Turner's problem. Put him in the slot. Yep. This Scott Turner's Put him at, problem. The, at the Z. Mm-hmm. Move him around. Hydrate. Put him in motion mm-hmm. because he's a, he's, he's a mismatch for us on the offensive side of football. Right. We need to get him the football early and right. off. And he's a true number one. Treat him like a number yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and it, it changes our, the way our defensive coordinator call a game. Right. If you come out and you got a Terrell Lawrence or somebody right. and you start getting him the ball early, my defensive coordinator start drawing attention right. to exactly. that guy. Well, right. guess what it does for your second and third receiver? Would be Curtis Samuels, correct? Yes. Curtis Samuels, yeah, right? it, it some, At them, some point. It yeah. puts them into one-on-ones on the backside, mm-hmm. right? Because we're going to take number one away. But if you're not coming out throwing at him, right. we're don't just let the game plan uh, evolve into what it is. And McLaurin and Logan Thomas, who caught a touchdown. Yeah. Yes, he, he needs to be utilized because that's a big body who's got great hands for a former quarterback. When we come back, we're going to talk a little about the defense, mm-hmm. which was supposed to be on paper the greatest thing since sliced bread. They are. Where's my bread, by the way? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't got are. any bread. Yeah. Um, but hot knife through butter in that first drive. That, and we're in the midst of uh, the Housewives of Ashburn during the show, by the way. You can't hear it right now, but it is spectacular. I can't. More, yes, you can. Well, they might be your wives, yeah. your exes. Yeah. It's the sports trifecta. We come back. Oh, I done got left many times. Hi, guys. Don Gelomino here with WDVM Local News. If you want to be a part of the fun, like us here at DC Prime, our on-location sponsor, please give me a shout via the information below. We'll be glad to bring you into the fold of Tom Foolery. We look forward to hearing from you. happening right here with the sports flex, the micro sports flex and the sports trifecta. I think it's gonna be fun. It's sports everywhere. Everywhere. All right, welcome back to segment number two of the sports trifecta, um, the defense. Yep. Hot knife through butter, as I said before the break on that first drive. They kind of settled down, but they gave up 424 yards. And folks, if you're not a fan fan of Justin Herbert, well, then you're stupid because that dude can throw a football. He's a horse. And that makes it very difficult for a DB who's, right? Hey, we just played a top 10 quarterback. Okay. We just played a top 10 wide receiver. Keenan Allen. And we just played a top 10 defensive end. By the way, I want to file charges through the Maryland Police Department on <laughs> one Joey Bosa. The way he beat Sam Cosme, I, I want, I'm talking about child abuse. I'm talking about a couple of different charges I want filed on Joey Bosa. He was a one-man wrecking crew and changed the game. Now, on the defensive side, on the outside, right. I could always tell when you play a running quarterback that the defensive line coach tell the, de- the, the, the ends, do not rush our way up the field. Right. And the one thing you don't want to do with wild dogs is make them think. Just let them hunt. I right, let them hunt. Let the linebackers clean it up. All right, so right. I could tell that Jack Del Rio plan was to make sure they didn't rush too high up. Okay. And by doing this, he was killing them with the three step. He, he was instantly getting the ball out of right. his hand. And I ain't seen no A gap or B gap blitz. No if pressure. you want to move them off the spot, no pressure. Right. Hey, blitz today. All right, so here, for those folks who are watching right now. He just said A gap, B gap. Yeah. I'm going, uh, I got an A and B on a test. Give me what A gap and B gap is. Start from the center. Yeah, start with the center. Okay. The center is the A gap, either side of him. Then you got the B gap. And and then you go out so far, C, D, D. to the A. Okay. A to the E. Okay. So at the end of the day, to go right up the middle is to move a quarterback off the point. 
Now, once he does that, the throws are off. If that was supposed the to be a three step, the timing the is, off. The timing is yeah. off already. Now he has to go to his second and third read right. if he can get that. Right. Well, they didn't get that done. No. By the way, uh, Charles Leno Jr. is the dude that whiffed on the block that got Ryan Fitzpatrick pancake. I, w- I went back and looked at it. He it whiffed. Was, it was, it was <laughs> gone. I don't know what he was doing. But when they look back at the tape, and you're in that, you guys have been in film rooms, right? So, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So, what is that? When's, when's film room? Is that Sunday? Is that Monday no, or Tuesday? Monday. That's Monday. That's Monday. Monday. So, how does that go in a film room? Because you, look, you got pass pro, right? Yeah. You got a pass protect. If you miss that block. In front of everybody, we have yeah. to watch it's, this. It's called right? the red dot. Yes. You get the red dot put on you. It might be in front of the whole team. Yeah. This right here unacceptable. is unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and, 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 and guess this what? This is unacceptable. And then you got guys in the, in the, in the, on the team like right. me that can't help but laugh. Really? The, oh, yeah, I so laugh. So you're laughing in the middle I'm of it. I'm laughing. He got kicked out the club. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we are on, we are on each other like that. Right. Yeah. You so have to be. You, that's the end of the day. Like, I can tell you this about sports. If you can make it through a locker room with the peer pressure that comes through that, you can make it in any job in this world. Right. Because ain't no lies. It's a very honest locker room. No yeah. question. And then think about this. If I'm a defensive back and I got burnt Sunday, I got I can't even turn the TV on at home. Yeah, I'm getting watching. burnt. Right. All right. I'm walking <laughs> through the store in dicks. I getting burnt. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can't even, I can't go nowhere for a whole week. I just see replays of Randy Moss. Then I right. got my kid, Daddy, what happened? You know, like <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a hard life, and you got to have tough skin yeah. to be a, a pro skin athlete. Skin like Armadillo, as Dennis Smith would say. Yeah. yeah. Skin like But Armadillo. If you, on the other side, of it, if you catch a ball and take it to the house, then you're watching TV like 24 7. Oh, you want to watch it? You want to see yourself perform now <laughs> at a high level. Yeah. You know, anytime you're scoring touchdowns, you're always going to watch right. it over. You might even hit rewind. A I'm not of sure times. what Charles Leno Jr. was doing, but he should not be a junior at this point. Um, that defense on paper was like, oh, this is going to be great. It's gonna be See, great. You can tell you work for the media, cause you you just don't. I'm not. I don't work for the media. Uh, yeah, I am the, the media. You are the media. I'm the, I, I am. I, the, tell you just report the news. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the. Not now. I'm just a host. Uh, hey, I'm just a host. All I'm saying is this. Yes. You know we weren't gonna have 17 games of shit down defense. You Correct. know it was gonna be a couple of Correct. games. Correct. All right. It was Correct. a couple of games where the game plan. See, I don't feel like we physically got beat. I feel like we got beat with the pin. Okay. I feel like the defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio needs to. But that is weeks. That is weeks of knowing who your opponent is, and then not doing it. But that, that opponent also didn't play any in the preseason. Okay. Right? With a new head coach, you don't know their new game plan. Okay. You don't know anything. They it's, left it's, you in the dark. It's week one. Week one is always iffy. A little iffy. You okay, know, man. you got guys, teams come out and play exceptionally right. well. You got teams come out and play super bad. Right. You look at Jacksonville. They look like. A high school football team against a Houston Texans. Texas, yeah. Who, who played with Gerard with yeah. Gerard Taylor? Yeah. You know, so it's like week one is always gonna give you the good and the bad, but it's still like iffy. So. Nothing's true in week one. Exactly. Week exactly. one is a enigma. Week one it, it just rained and a rainbow popped up. Ain't no goal at the end of it. I, <laughs> ain't no goal at the end of it. So what I'm saying is it's not real. So don't be too happy if you won. Yeah, I'm don't be that. too down if you lost. You got to be so It's always good if it's an, if it's an, a, a division opponent to get yeah, the win. To get the right. win. Because it's right now, good. the Philadelphia Eagles are the only team in the NFC East who got a win. And do you think they're going to win the division when it's all said and done? Well, I will tell you this. If Jalen Hurts played the way he played, they got a very good There's chance. the X factor right there. Is that Jalen I told Hurts, you about Jalen Hurts Jalen Hurts to home early on. Right. No, no, no. I believe, believe in Jalen Hurts. I believe. Okay. I vote for He's Jalen Hurts. He's a Texas boy. But I don't think they ros- they're roster to <laughs> me. <laughs> they're roster. Understand. Still got holes in it. I understand that. What are they lacking? Just tell me what they lacking. All right, think about it. Like, if you dating, and you're in the dating pool of people, and you realize the dating pool got pee in. I don't, I don't right? date. That I, means you got to get out of there. Right? They understand that they don't have the talent they think they got. And I don't know if they believe in Jalen Hurts. Because as a quarterback, you need your organization to believe, they believe in him. In it. They right. got rid of Carson Wentz, who they paid 100 plus million to. Thank you. Well, they don't ran the Carson Wentz out of town. You tell me that. And, but we also talking about the same city of Philadelphia that has a statue of a dude that don't exist. Rocky don't exist. He was never real. Hey, you hey, don't build statues hey, Rocky, of guys that's not real. Rocky exists. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but Rocky exists. He I don't exist. know what he's talking about half the time, Chief. Well, it's hey, good point. Listen, to be talking and the other half, half I go, okay, that's what I do. That's what he does. Wow, wow. All right. Uh, when we come back here on the sports trifecta, 
the surprises of the league in week one. By the way, Tom Brady, when I heard him talk on the way here on his now new podcast, he's really good. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, way too, what's the word? Uh, straight. Like, straight lace? Is, is he raw? Is he raw? Just like, no, not raw not at all. No, no. Tom, is, I know Tom, Tom, is, Tom has built his brand. I said, call him Tom. I don't know Tom. Tom Brady's built his brand. But he talked about week number one. It's about week number four and about week number no, it's eight. About, it's getting right? better. It's yes. about yeah, progression. Right. Yes, when we come back, though, we'll talk about who the surprises are in the league and when my damn food's getting here. Be right back here on the Sports Trifecta. Hi, guys. Don Gelomino here with WDVM Local News. If you want to be a part of the fun, like us here at DC Prime, our on-location sponsor, please give me a shout via the information below. We'll be glad to bring you into the fold of Tom Foolery. We look forward to hearing from you. happening right here with Sportsplex, the Michael Sportsplex and the Sports Trifecta. I think it's going to be fun. It's sports everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So look, we got uh, week one. Give me, uh, ooh, we. What a smart move you, you chose. <laughs> yeah. We're here at DC Prime here in Ashburn. Why is he smart? Because he chose the same meal I got. Yes. This is going to hurt in about two days. But right now, it's going to be really, really he's good. It's going to taste really good. A little good. lamb chop, yeah. And, and Rock. You know, he's a vegetarian out of my I got wings. He got wings. Okay. Oh, oh that's right. that's my cream spinach. No, that's yeah. my saute spinach. Yeah. That's his saute spinach. spinach. We got the. Hold on, I'll, I'll pass you. him over here. We got the cream spinach. Fred right. gets this Thank every you. episode. Cream spinach. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That goes down well. That's gonna work out well in your pants later. Uh, all I'm saying is they got somebody's grandmother, eight, ninety years old, back in the kitchen. Yeah. Ripping this up. No it's question. Perfect. It's it is spectacular. It's the perfect. The food here at DC Prime is out of this world. Yep. There's your potato. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm gonna show you what I do. Asparagus, very healthy. Later on, it's a bit odd smelling, yep. if you know what I mean. Yep. <laughs> um, surprises in week one of the NFL. I will tell. I will go on first and saying okay. that Jameis Winston with the mm. New Orleans Saints, Famous who James. learned under Drew Brees last year, mm -hmm. and all the BS with Taysom Hill. First off. Does Sean Payton have pictures of Taysom, or does Taysom have pictures of Sean with sheep? I'm not sure what's going on here. Something going on. Something going on. But Jameis Winston, five touchdowns, no picks. Yep. Very clean. I'm excited for what he can do. I, I'm not shocked that a former number one pick who went to the school of Sean Payton quarterbacking. Okay. He went to the school of Drew Brees. But, but, but no, Sean Payton is a quarterback. I understand that, but yes. Drew Brees is no. the – that's who he learned yeah, from. Yeah, that's who he – and he said Drew told him something very important. Drew said, every play you don't have to be Batman. Right. Sometimes just be Bruce Wayne. Okay. Right? I like and that, that means take the check down. Keep the drive alive. And, he I, did that. and when it's time to go right. deep, then you do it. So I think Jameis learned from that. My biggest take from week one is the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. Really? This is a team most people pick to go, what? Four and thirteen. Right. Mm -hmm. They come out. They go to the Falcons, which the Falcons is not a good team. Seventeen games this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They not a good team, so right. they beat the people they supposed to beat. Right. All right. Right. But I'm not finna crown them kings of the East so fast. No. Because week one is a, the ultimate enigma. Right. But what do you say about week one? My pick from week one was the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns. That was a very good game. That yeah. was a heavyweight that boxing match. That was a heavyweight match. boxing match. Cleveland came out early on and established the run. Nick Chubb's running the ball really well. Right. But Patrick Mahomes. It's Patrick Mahomes. What he always does, Patrick Mahomes, is magic. Mahomes. You know? Yeah. He's Mahomes. By the way. the offensive line looked good. You yeah. remember that was the problem last year. When they, they went and got Orlando Brown. Right. Added all them guys mm -hmm. to the offensive line, two tackles. They look dangerous. Right. They look like a team that won't be stopped anytime soon. But. The Chargers are in their division, and I'm telling you, the Chargers are a good team. So I'm not mad with us losing right. to a good team. Uh, by the way, Baker Mayfield, who was a knucklehead year one, 
Mm-hmm. Pretty damn good quarterback. Yeah. He look he look good. Right. He Baker Baker the right. touchdown maker. Right, right. He's right. comfortable in the offense, Chips. He is comfortable. Same, comfortable. Offensive same offensive coordinator for the first half. Coordinator. Right. Um the 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 bust of the week. I'll go to the guy who's wearing his hair in a bun. Aaron Rodgers. I, listen, if you get engaged, your game goes to crap. Oh, he got engaged. Oh, he's married. Yeah. He's engaged to the actress. He's totally right. Shailene I got engaged Woodley. and got cut from the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, chick. It goes together. I've seen this happen to many of guys. Right. I think it takes your edge away. It does take your edge away. It takes your edge away. He's in Hawaii partying his ass off. Pardon yep. my French. He joined a band, too. He joined a band? He fought over rock band. He's got the bun working. <laughs> the bun doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. The man bun? It does work. The man work. bun. He was hor- Aaron Rodgers was horrible. In that game. Yeah, he was. But are you hating on the man bun because you have no hair? Are you hating on the man bun because... Ooh. There's a little more there, isn't it? He got more than me. I'm going <laughs> to... Thank you. <laughs> hey, I, got, I, got a, I got a game this weekend hey, from CBS. The only I'm great thing hair about Wednesday. that is What's I that? have to pay for haircuts, which are $40 these days. And Jesus give you a free haircut every Thursday. Yeah. All right? So you should feel good he about that. give you one every other day. I you take, too. I, I cut, cut my own hair. Cut your head. I cut every my own day. hair because you're right. I spent a ridiculous amount of money cutting hair. Yeah. It didn't make any sense. Now you're wasting because that little yeah, peanut he, he head. He's going thin at the top. He just won't let everybody know that. That's why he's sitting up there all Hey, straight. I'm the only 42-year-old. Ain't a silver fox. No. Hair is still intact. I am, you know, the confidence is there. They say guys lose their hair, they lose confidence. All right? And I told people, if LeBron James, the richest basketball player all the time, can't find some way to grow his hair back, well, it's impossible. Do, do I sound like a guy without confidence? Yeah. I've seen a little of your confidence waver over the years. No, there's no wavering. Right. Um, so, back to the Washington football team for a second. Fitzpatrick's out, Heineke's in, and immediately the Washington fan base goes, well, we got to get Cam Newton, which Ron Rivera's former quarterback. But, who's a free agent right now. But unvaxxed, which is the, one of the reasons New England said no, no. But there's another guy who chimed in on social media. One RG3. Bobby Three Sticks, uh. RG3, Robert Griffin III, who said simply, make, make the, the call. call. To Would what? You? His daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no. Some exes are your exes for a reason. Where's my knife? You, you can't literally go back and date certain people again. We cannot date Robert Griffin the third again. No, no. I, listen, I have I never agree. seen such a a, yeah. a, a, you with it? a long I, fall from grace. Need him. Need him. No, put it like this. He's not a leader. He's terrible in the locker room. Okay. He's not a good quarterback anymore. The one thing that he was great at, he wanted to stop doing. You remember this scene? You played with I'm him. I'm going to be a pocket passer. I coached passer. with I coached he him coached, in Cleveland. Coached, coached him in, in Cleveland. Cleveland. You coached him in Cleveland. In Cleveland. Yeah. All right, stop for a second. All right. You coached him in Cleveland. What was that like? Uh, Tell oh, the truth. Wait, it set you free. Where did the politician come from? Here you go. Here you go. Here's He'll a, tell you everything you need to know from a classroom standpoint, right? And he's on point there. He's on point. But retaining information and taking to the field when the live bullets starting to come, understanding the blitz protection, understanding where the hot route is. He couldn't do that. Really? So that's why I think he got hurt the first game of the season. I was in Cleveland. And he didn't play the rest of the season. Put right. him in the reserve. But Shocking. The thing is, he's not able to take it from the classroom to the field. In okay. order to be a great quarterback, or at least a good quarterback, you yeah. got to be able to take it from here to here. It's like right. a golf. Right. You can go to the range and hit it real good, yep. but you go on the course, you can't hit it real good. Correct. Yeah. So you got to be able to take it from the range to the course. That's my game. Thanks for you know? reminding me. So you're a range rat? I'm a range rat. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know that. All right. You know all that. Right. All I got to say is no to RG3, probably no to Cam, because if Coach wanted him, he could have been had him. I don't think he You're wants right. him. You're right. right. And, and you know what? At the end of the day, he doesn't fit the blueprint of the guys because Kyle Allen, uh, Heineke, and Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic are basically the same dude. Okay. They, they, they're the same. All right? It's nothing different about their game. Right. You bring Cam in here, now you got to do the offense all over to cater to him, even I, though he knows the offense. I will say this. On Cam's social media, he said, look, my personality is something that's a little bit different than everybody else's. I get it. He said, if New England ever asked me, Will I back up? Would I play back up to Matt Jones? Yeah, I would have. They never asked me because they, they assumed I wouldn't do it. You don't want to. That's just like having Tim Tebow as a backup. Oh, you can't have a, a backup that outshadows your the number, number one, one guy. Right. It, it, it just makes him like, you know what? 
as soon as I make a mistake, here they gonna go calling for Cam to come in the game. Right. See, Belichick's so smart that he took all that out the equation. Because it's right. always they always want the number two guy to be the number one guy. Because he's the most popular guy on the team. You know, he's the backup. He that, always that goes back to Sonny and Billy here in Washington D.C. All right, so Ryan Fitzpatrick out. It's gonna be. Uh, Young Lance Kalfak and Hall, give me a Heineke. Taylor Heineke, mm-hmm. Kyle Allen, and then newly signed Kyle Shermer will, be the, will be the third mm-hmm. string quarterback for the Washington football team. I think that's it for us. Yeah. We're done. We're going to eat. Yes, we are. Fred Smoot, Rock, great to see you. you Rock too, Cartwright, cheers. Well, cheers to you. Cheers. Uh huh. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm Chick Hernandez. Thanks for watching the Sports Trifecta. And the Housewives are still at it. Peace out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> Hi, guys. Don Gelomino here with WDVM Local News. If you want to be a part of the fun, like us here at DC Prime, our on-location sponsor, please give me a shout via the information below. We'll be glad to bring you into the fold of Tom Foolery. We look forward to hearing from you. Sports Trifecta. I think it's going to be fun. It's sports everywhere. Everywhere.